Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will build a Windows Server 2019 as a standalone WDS deployment server. In this standalone setup, the server is not part of the domain and we will install DNS, DHCP and WDS server role on the same system. First, let's open Server Manager console. Let's click on Start button and click on Server Manager. Already I have assigned the static IP address to this server because that is the first requirement to install DNS and DHCP service. Let's click on Add Rules and Features link to start a wizard. On Before You Begin screen, I'm going to click on Next button. Next again. A local server is already selected that is member-server01 and as you can verify that this server is in workgroup with the IP address 192.168.1.11. Click on next. First, I'm going to select DHCP server rule. Click on add features. Let's select DNS server rule. Click on add features. And next, let's select a Windows deployment services. Click on add features as well. Click on next. 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 Next again. Next again. And click on install to start the process. Okay, all three server rules has been installed successfully. First, we will complete the configuration for DHCP, then DNS, and last, we will complete the configuration for WDS. Let's click on this link to complete the DHCP post installation configuration. Click on commit and click on close. Let's close Saw Manager console as well. First, I'm going to open DHCP management console as we want to create a new DHCP scope for WDS server. Click on Start button and click on Windows Admin Tools. Let's double click on DHCP. Let's maximize the console, expand as server name, expand IP version 4, right click on IP version 4 and select New Scope. Click on Next, specify scope name and description. Ask your name DHCP scope 1 and description will be WDS lab guide. Click on next. Let's specify IP address range for this DHCP scope. We are going to use default subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0. Click on next. Next again. Next again. We also want to configure DHCP scope options and that's why we are going with yes. Click on next. Our gateway's address is 192.168.1.1. Click on add. Click on next. Our DNS server's address is 192.168.1.11. That is the IP address of our local server on which we are going to configure DNS service as well. Click on next. Next. And we want to activate this DHCP scope and that's why we are going with the default selection. Click on finish. Now we have a one DHCP scope on our DHCP server. So DHCP configuration is completed. Now let's move to configure DNS as well. Let's go to Windows Admin Tools console and let's double click on DNS. Expand our server name, expand for lookup zones, right click on for lookup zone and select new zone. Click on next. It will be a primary zone. Specify zone name. In our case, it is going to be must be noob.lab. Click on next, next again, next again, and click on finish. Let's expand our for lookup zone. This is a standard primary zone, and that's why we need to manually add the host entry for our local server. For that, let's right click on our zone name and select new host. Let's specify the name, which is member server01. Let's specify the IP address, which is 192.168.1.11. Click on Add Host. Click on OK and click on Done. Let's expand Reverse Lookup Zone. Right click on it and select New Zone. Click on Next. It will be a primary zone. Next, IP version 4. Let's specify Network ID, which is 192.168.1 in our case. Click on Next. Next again. Next again and click on finish. After creating reverse lookup zone, let's add pointer record as well for our local server. 
Now select member hyphen server zero one. This is the host record which we have added under must be noob dot lab DNS on. So the IP address one eighty two one sixty eight one dot eleven is belong to the FQDN member hyphen server zero one dot must be noob dot lab. Click on OK. Let's close this console as well because we have successfully configured DHCP and DNS server rule. Now it's time to configure WDS server rule as well. Let's double click on Windows Deployment Services to open that management console. Expand our servers, and here we have a yellow exclamation mark on our local server that is telling us that we need to configure WDS service as well. To do that, we need to right click on our server name and select Configure Server. Click on Next. We want to set up this WDS server as a standalone deployment server. And that's why I'm going to select this radio button a standalone server. Click on next. Specify the path on which you want to store all the files related to WDS. Click on browse. Expand this PC and select local drive D. Click on OK. Let's specify the folder name as well. Remote install. Click on next. We have installed and configured DHCP server rule on this server, and that's why we need to configure DHCP options number sixty. But we don't need to configure that options manually because this wizard is going to configure that things for us. Click on next. Here I'm going to select respond to all client computers known and unknown. But if any unknown computer is there, then it requires administrator's approval for the installation. Click on next. Okay, WDS service is not started yet, so let's click on finish button. We are going to manually start the WDS service. For that, we need to right click on our server name, click on all task, and click on start. Successfully started WDS service. Let's click on okay, and here we have a green play button. That means a WDS server is up and running. Let's open DHCP Management Console because we want to see that options number sixty. On DHCP Management Console, expand our server name, expand IP version four, and uh, we need to click on Server Options. You can see options number sixty is that PXC client, which is configured automatically using that configuration wizard on WDS Management Console. Now let's go back to our WDS Management Console. Now you can add boot and install image on your WDS server, and after that you can deploy operating system using this standalone deployment server. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to set up standalone WDS deployment server on server 2019.